I learned at a very early age there was something about the way that I looked that made it okay for people to hurt me. The rate of obesity in black women is dangerously high. And a local woman faced the issue and decided to change the narrative through a documentary. She wants to take the shame out of obesity by putting her struggle front and center. So yeah, we actually have a good show today. Um, Rosemary Andrews loves engaging people, but she wasn't always that outgoing because of her weight. At her heaviest, she weighed 400 pounds. She says overeating was not the real issue. I realized something about the way I looked made people not like me or hurt me. One of my relatives say, like, oh, that's the mutts. And they were referring to me and my baby brother uh, because we were half black. Uh, I had my gastric sleeve surgery July 2nd, 2018. Uh, at the time of my surgery, I was 332. At the start of this documentary, I was 363. And I'm 305 pounds. I'm not under 300 pounds. Oh, so frustrating. People are starting to notice the weight loss and as much as I want it to be all positive, it's just not. You know, when I said I was gonna do this two and a half years ago, like, I wasn't sure. I'm still working out with Brian. My consistency hasn't been that great, but I'm still working out. I'm still doing my challenges. As the whole world seemed to fall apart right in front of my eyes, somehow I began to fall together. So with my newly acquired self-confidence in tow, I packed up all my belongings, moved thousands of miles away from my hometown to pursue a career in film. We made it to Georgia. So we made it to Georgia. I have been working since we moved here and two and a half weeks after moving here, I, I was working. And I started off by working 12 hours and it has steadily increased through the different jobs that I've had. I have been working 16, 17, 18, 19 hour days. I don't know what's like for the future. Like, I don't know. I know I'm gonna finish this documentary and I'm gonna put it in film festivals and maybe it'll just go up on YouTube and maybe my kids will just play it at my funeral at this point, I don't know. A decade ago, I could have never imagined that I'd not only lose 200 pounds, but somehow navigate the long-term effects of my emotional, physical, and sexual trauma. Breaking the cycle of dysfunction, successfully changing careers. I now know anything is possible. I know this because I went from a 400 pound emotionally traumatized woman to writing and performing poetry, hosting events, working in radio, TV, and now film. I don't know what's next, but I'm ready for it. That's why my motto will forever be, you are the best projects you will ever work on. I am not the color.